Okay, so today's project will be to add this third reef point, I'm trying to decide where I want it to go. I'm thinking just above this batten would make a good, a good place for it. I kind of wasn't sure if above or below it, but I think above it will probably be the best. Um, that'll give me the option to make the sail nice and small. If I'm ever in some uh, storm or really strong winds, it's nice to have. So we'll have two Kringles, one there and there. That'll make that sail quite a bit smaller. And while I'm at it, I'm also gonna restitch this zipper. It's definitely seen uh, better days. All right, before I get started, I'm gonna wind up a bunch of bobbins. Um, and my friend was uh, letting me use his uh, sail right machine since I sold mine uh, back in Hawaii. Uh, but the, with this uh, thick uh, V92 thread, you go through a bunch of bobbins, so I like to get like 20 of them all filled up. All right, now I'm gonna stitch this zipper, which looks like someone hand-stitched at some point, but it's falling apart again. Got the zipper sewn back on this side. I noticed this hole, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and patch that. So I copied the kind of uh, the uh, original reef um, reinforce corner reinforcements onto uh, these templates. So now I'll cut these out of Dacron and I'll sew them up uh, with different layers, and then I'll sew them onto the sail. So there's our patches. I like to use these little clips to hold things all together. Here's my two piece of patches for reinforcement stitched together. Now I just gotta, the challenging part is getting them on the sail and then I put the Kringle in. So now I'm positioning this. I ripped out the seam just uh, right here so I could slip this underneath there. I think that will look neater. Um, I'm just putting a little bit of seam stick. Uh, double-sided tape on here so I hate ripping off the backing tape of this it's such a pain to get to there it goes so I rip that off and that'll stick on there nicely so now I can like take it back to the sewing machine or maybe I'll take the sewing machine out here I haven't decided yet it might be easier and I'll do the same thing on that side and then all I gotta do is put the uh, grommet and stitch you know some some stitches in there of course restitch that up All right, this one is stitched on there. Actually, I feel like it's not too bad considering how difficult it was. I had to take out the batten, this one right here. Um, so hopefully that won't be too difficult to put in. And moving on over to here, I like when I put the seam stick on, which I think you kind of need for a project like this. Um, I, I try to put it where in between where I'm gonna stitch because if you sew over it, it tends to gum up the needle. Apparently dragging around sails in the grass attracts snakes. Here I'm just putting that batten back in that I took out earlier. All right, so now I'm gonna make the eyelet. Um, I, I sewed one of them in. Um, I'll show you the process on this other side. Your, uh, your ring, and I guess it could be brass or stainless steel or whatever. Um, you pick where you want it. That looks about good to me. And then just kinda draw a circle on the inside, and then on the outside too. 
and then you gotta cut out the inside without like slicing your sail up. It's kind of tricky. So now, what you do is you poke holes along the edge here. This is a good place to work out all that pent up aggression. It's pretty satisfying stabbing through all this sailcloth. So now I got a ring of holes going around there. Um, there we go. Let's start sewing this guy on there. There's a the second snake today. I'm telling you, snakes like sails. Okay, so now that this is sewn, guess what it looks like. We're gonna press this inner ring in there and that'll allow ropes to slide in and out and also protect the threads. And we'll use a die to set that in there. So you gotta have a, uh, a dead blow hammer. It won't work with the regular hammer. It really should be bigger than this. And you just gotta hit this thing as hard as you possibly can. Go. Got a long way to go though. So here is the uh, new one compared to the the old ones. I think it'll work. So here is the third reef uh, in use. Um, I'm gonna use it to pull out this anchorage nice and slow. I don't want to have a whole lot of windage up so I don't drift in the shore too quickly. So thanks for watching my reef sewing video. I'm currently anchored in the Keys and this, pat, this trip's been going pretty well. Um, I was able to edit a bunch of videos the last couple of days, uh, so I'll have those, those coming out shortly. Um, oh, and that third reef point, uh, I was able to use that a bunch today. The wind got up to about 25 knots, and um, we were still doing probably, I think, six knots of boat speed. So I probably could have gone even smaller, but it's still, still doing what I want. Um, I'll see you guys next time.